Hey everyone, this is the, well, the last video for now in terms of the print material that I've picked up recently. This is the most expensive one I have. I had to purchase this. Um, I got this one through Amazon and this company is in Texas. And yeah, it was a pretty good experience. So it came wrapped in some paper. Uh, it also came wrapped in this uh, cardboard sleeve, which was a good idea because the the envelope it was um, in, with the envelope it was shipped with uh, was kind of a papery material, and it did get a bit beat up. So I'm glad there was a couple layers of protection for this one. But uh, this is a pretty common book, I guess, out there. There's a lot of reviews on this this one, and. So far, it's been a pretty good book. I've marked a page. Uh, this is where I left off, but I'm just kind of going through pretty much from start front to back and just kind of learning about how to take down some of these uh, um, these guns. And uh, a lot of guns are sharing the same type of inner workings, so it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to see that. The reason why I bought this is because I wanted to get some information on the Enfield number two, Mark one that I have. And this one also has uh, some information on the Beretta 1951. The Beretta 1951 was limited in terms of what it could offer for disassembly. So I was a bit disappointed with that. But as you can see, um, and as it says here in color, step-by-step -step color instructions, there's also some interesting uh, little points about how the uh, the authors um, or whoever took apart these guns they've commented on some pitfalls and some issues that they encountered which is pretty cool so that was helpful so if you're looking for this book um, you know take a look at gun shows or bookstores you could probably pick one up or you can maybe order this online as well but I think it's really quite a comprehensive and good resource to have and if you're just interested in firearms in general, this would be something that you might want to add to your collection. If you are wondering if there's a particular type of firearm that could be included in this book and you were looking to know that before you buy, let me know and I can look in the, in the, in the index. And essentially that's about it for this book. Here's the uh, here's the Mark One. This is what I was interested in seeing, and it had some pretty good tips. And towards the end of the disassembly, they have some uh, uh, reassembly hints as well. And actually, one that um, was useful that I actually was applicable for me to to review because I did take it apart the other day. So this is the book here. Overall, um, I would suggest to get this if you're looking for uh, something to supplement your hobby. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll get to the next video. Thanks. Bye.